Welcome to this video on crutch walking for partial weight bearing injuries. Your doctor will tell you how much weight you're allowed to place on your injured leg. This video will show you how to use crutches safely when you are allowed to put weight on your injured leg. Safety tips. Make sure your crutches have padding at the top and at the handlebars. Don't wrap towels or add extra cloth around the padding as this can cause discomfort. Make sure they have rubber tips. Check tips daily and replace them if they are worn. Place crutches 10 centimeters from your feet and adjust to your height. The top should be two to three fingers below your armpit. The handle should be placed at the level of your wrist when your arm is straight down. When standing, it's okay to rest your injured leg on the ground. Place both crutches in front of you so that your legs and crutches are in a tripod position. Wear well-fitting low-heel shoes. Use a backpack to keep your hands free while walking. Make sure that the bag straps are over both shoulders so you maintain balance. If you have a shoulder bag, wear it across your body so you don't fall to one side. An adult can help you put on your bag. Remove clutter and keep your floors clean and dry. Be cautious of any pets. Make sure any loose rugs, rug corners that stick up, or cords are secured to the ground so you don't trip. Don't walk on slippery surfaces. Avoid snowy, icy, or rainy conditions. If you normally walk or take the school bus, arrange for somebody to drive you instead. Some arrangements might also be necessary at school, like leaving class early to avoid crowded hallways and getting a pass for the elevator if your classes are not on the main floor. Crutch walking. When walking with crutches, don't look down at your feet. Always look forward. Let your hands carry your weight, not your armpits. Hold your crutches firmly between your rib cage and your arms. Place your crutches and injured leg a normal step size ahead of your body. Place your weight on your hands and step forward with your good foot, moving past the crutches and injured leg. And repeat. Don't hop while crutch walking. Sitting down. Turn around so the back of your good leg touches the chair. Place both crutches in one hand and hold them by the handles. Place your free hand on the armrest, hold your injured leg out, then slowly lower yourself into the chair. Standing up. Slide into the edge of the chair. Place both crutches in one hand and hold them by the handles. Stand up by using your good leg and pushing off the armrest at the same time. Using the stairs with railing. Try to limit the amount of times you have to use the stairs throughout the day. This scenario demonstrates using the stairs with a railing. It is always safest to use a railing if possible. An adult should be there to make sure the child can safely climb the stairs. Hold your crutch in one hand and the railing in the other hand. Have an adult carry your other crutch. When going up the stairs, start at the bottom stair. Push down hard on the handle of your crutch and railing. Lift your good leg onto the first stair, follow with your crutch, and step up with your injured leg. Continue up all the stairs. It's important to remember that when you're going up the stairs, the good foot goes first. When going down the stairs with a railing, start close to the edge of the top stair. Put your crutch on the stair below, followed by your injured leg to help with balance but remember to only place the amount of weights the doctor recommended. Place all your weights on your hands and step down with your good leg. Remember that when you're going down the stairs, the crutches and the injured leg go first. Using the stairs without railing. Limit your time on the stairs during the day. An adult should be there to make sure the child can safely climb the stairs. This time you'll be using both of your crutches. When going up the stairs, start close to the bottom stair. You will start by pushing hard on your crutch handles and step with your good leg onto the first stair. Now follow with your crutches and step up with your injured leg. 
you can put your injured leg on the stair to regain balance if needed. Remember, when going up, your good leg goes first. You'll be using both crutches to go down the stairs without the railing. Start close to the edge of the top stair. Put your crutches on the stair below, followed by your injured leg to help with balance. But remember to only place the amount of weight the doctor has recommended. Place all your weight on your hands and step down with your good leg. Remember, when going down the stairs, the crutches go first. Going upstairs, bum scoot. In some cases, it's safer to go up and down the stairs on your bum. Give your crutches to an adult to bring up the stairs for you. Lower yourself carefully to the highest step you can comfortably sit down on. Put your hands on the stair above the one you are currently sitting on. Put all your weight on your hands and your good leg. Have an adult support your injured leg all the way up the stairs. Don't place any weight on your injured leg. Have a small bench or stool waiting at the top of the stairs. This makes it easier and safer to get up from the stairs. Place both of the crutches in the same hand. Push down on the handles with one hand and hold onto the handrail or an adult with the other to get yourself up off the bench, similarly to getting out of a chair. You may place your injured leg on the ground for balance. Going downstairs, bum scoot. Start by lowering yourself carefully onto the bench by holding onto the railing or an adult with one hand and your crutches by the handle in your other hand. Give your crutches to an adult to carry down the stairs for you. Move your good leg onto the stair below. Follow with your bum by putting your weights on your hands and moving your bum down a stair. Have an adult support your injured leg all the way down the stairs. Don't place any weights on your injured leg. Once your good foot reaches the bottom of the stairs, take your crutches in one hand, pushing down on the handles, and get an adult to help you stand up. You may then place your injured leg on the ground for balance. We hope this instructional video has helped you. If you have any questions, please contact Chio's physiotherapy department or your doctor.